So, Evan, how do you like being a puppet? Evan? What are you talking about, Freddy? It's me, Darius. Has that white crap finally turned your brain to mush? You turned my life to shit. There's no room for loafers at my factory. Testing drugs was one of your responsibilities. Are you expecting me to apologize? You hooked me on that damn rhino of yours. People toil away 12 hours a day for you, and you ruin their lives with that goddamn truck! Listen, I think you'd better discuss your addiction with your therapist. She's the only one who tried to help me.
the hell took you so long? Did you find her? She isn't here. Crap, where are we going to go now? The lab isn't too far from here. Come on, Morena, let's go. Don't rush me, baby bear. I can't stand it. I've got to admit it, Anthony. I overlooked the moment when he met that girlfriend of his, Morena. Was she a bad influence on him, Dr. McBride? I was looking for someone to blame. I was tracking down ones I held responsible for my misery. Acting blindly. Feeling abandoned. Dying of insomnia. What? <laughs> 
I met her on the subway. She was wearing faded denim shorts, fishnets, and an eye patch. We stared at each other for quite a while. And then she said something strange to me. She said I smelled like violence. I asked what violence smelled like. She said, melon bubblegum.
of a maniac.
the work of a maniac. This city is filled with sorry excuses for human beings. Absurd caricatures. They need to be painted red. Except for her. I'm not touching her essence. But it's 3 a.m. already, and his glass needs to get red. One way or another. so tired. Shit. Come on, get up. The cops will be here soon. Why won't they let me sleep, Mar? You need help, baby bear. I found someone who can help you. Come on.
I saw a silhouette. It was a hooded man sitting motionless in an alley. I had no idea why we were walking up to some bum, but suddenly Morena said the name Darius, and I realized she was talking to the bum. And then he spoke. He said his name was John West, and he was also Deloise McBride's patient. He didn't remember when he put on a mask, took a knife, and started stabbing people at parties. But he remembered some kind of drug McBride gave him. Something that caused Darius to grow inside of him. He told us about a girl who meant everything to him, but ended up becoming just another victim for his inner Darius. After her death, he became aware that there were two different people inside of him, so he went into hiding for ten long years until the beast awoke and ordered him to wipe out the corrupt police. After John took the cops out, he finally broke the cycle and realized that his alter ego, the knife-wielding beast, Darius, was only there when McBride's drug was running through his veins. Who am I? What did she make me take? John gave us an address. Bitch has been testing her drug in an old hotel in the mountains. It's time for her to meet me, my Darius, and the blade of his knife. What the hell took you so long? Did you find her? She isn't here. Crap, where are we going to go now? The lab isn't too far from here. Come on, Marina, let's go. Don't rush me, baby bear. I can't stand it. Thank <laughs> you.